position to provide sound reason for someone to do something. See, everything that the enemy brings in your life is to keep you from doing what your faith can produce. Everything that the enemy brings in your life, every mountain that he brings in your life, every upset, every depressing moment, every, every upsetting moment and, and, and let down, he brings it in your life to hinder you from doing what it is that your faith would produce. Because he understands that if he can attack your faith and if he can come after your faith, then you can produce. You cannot produce without faith. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you can't please God, it means that the reason you can't please God is because you're not producing. If you can't please God, it's because you're not producing. So God said, I dealt every man the measure of faith. He said, I gave you my faith because I want you to produce. But if you're not producing it because you don't realize that you don't have a God kind of faith, you have God's faith because he dealt it to you. Hope I'm not going over your head. So faith is God's divine persuasion to provide sound reason for someone to do something. Somebody say, I'm fully persuaded. I'm fully persuaded. Faith is believing beyond what we can see. It's believing beyond what you can see. Because if you see it, then you don't need faith to get it. Because it's already there. So when your faith is there, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if you have, if you can see it, it doesn't take faith to get it. Most of the time it just takes a little money. But God said, I have not seen. Your ear heard. Neither have it entered into the heart of man. The things that God had prepared for them that love him. He said, but it's revealed unto them by my spirit. You cannot receive it unless you have faith to believe that you have his spirit within you. That he has given you the faith to produce that thing that he said that you can have. Matthew 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these things shall be added unto you. What things? The things that I have not seen nor ear heard. Who? Glory. Somebody say glory. Yes. 
essence of what it is that you need is faith in order to produce yeah. that which you're believing God for. Is there anybody in here that you're believing God for some things in your life? You're believing God for turnaround. You're believing God for healing. You're believing God for deliverance. You're believing God for financial breakthrough. Whatever it may be, don't let God and dump God, God down to one specific thing. Because prosperity means all. He said, beloved, Being lackadaisical and 
you know, just, just comfortable. We like, God, this is a good place. I'm blessed. Some of y'all in here, I see it on your face. I'm blessed. God wants you to be even more blessed. That's right. He don't want you to just be blessed for you, but he wants you to be blessed to be a blessing. That's right. Somebody say, I'm uncomfortable no more. Genesis 12, let me start at verse 1. It says, Then the Lord said to Abraham, Leave your country, your relatives, and your father's house, and go to the land that I will show you. I will call you to become the father of a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous. I'm reading the New Living Translation. And I will make you a blessing. He said, I'll make you a blessing. Hey, that's the name. Make me a blessing. Oh, that's right. Make me a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. And this is big and momentous. Yes, Abraham had to have some momentous faith in order to believe what God said. And some people are like, well, it's God. Well, there's a lot of us that don't believe God when he says something to us. Just because it's God doesn't mean that you're always going to believe it. God has got to give you a revelation because you would not do anything unless you have a revelation. And many people are trying to live off of another man's revelation and you cannot live off of another man's revelation. you got to get a revelation for yourself. You're just going to sit because you got a revelation. It's the same thing. You got to have a revelation of the word. That's right. You got to have a revelation of faith so that your faith can work for you. That's right. So you ain't got to work for your faith. No. Your faith, when you get a revelation, your faith begins to work for you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Verse 4 says So Abraham departed as the Lord had instructed him, and Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he left Haran. He took his wife, Sarah, his nephew, Lot. <laughs> he took his nephew, Lot. The Lord told him to leave his family. Leave them all. Somebody said, leave them all. That's the problem. Too many of us, we be trying to take people with us. Come on. I want you to be blessed with me. No, leave them right where they are. Because they the ones who cause you to not be able to produce. You 
will have trials and tribulations. Abraham had trials and tribulations. He realized that he shouldn't have took a lot with him. Because they got to fight and their people got to fight him. And he had to take them and move them to another place. So this is why you cannot take everybody with you where it is that God is taking you. Because a lot of times when you're taking people with you and you're trying to hang with the same people, they will cause you to not be able to move Carry the 
the wood. <laughs> I don't even know how they did all that. But can you imagine it was only him and his sons that built this boat? Only him and his sons. But Noah didn't say, well, God, you got to give me the money first. No, Noah stepped out on the bridge and he said, okay, God, you said it, I'm going with it. And God provided every single thing that he needed down to the teeth. He even told them what kind of wood. He said, go get some gopher wood. Down to the teeth. So you have to step out on faith before the finances will come. Some of you are, you saying, oh, I got to have $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 before I start this business. Y'all, I started with nothing. I went and looked for a building and said, I want this building. Once I went and said, I want this building, I started negotiating. Because you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. I moved into every single building that I moved into this day with no money. None. They pay me money. That's right. I'm serious. So it releases the provision in your life. Number four, faith is the conduit that gives you the access to the gifts and callings that God has placed within you. You remember the story of Esther? Esther did not know what was in her. She did not know what Mordecai was preparing her for and what God was preparing her for. But when she went forth and she said, you know what, I'm going to go because Mordecai told me to go. When she got in there, she realized momentum space because when they were going to kill all the Jews she had to tell everybody to fast and she had to have faith that God was going to protect her when she went in to the king before him because normally if he don't tip his scepter then he's going to kill you and he had not tipped his scepter to anyone but her but she had faith and it released that calling upon her life some of you are you are wondering what the calling of God is upon your life you've got to in it by faith. You have to step out on it by faith. You say, God, I, know, I feel like I have this, and I feel like that this gift. You know, uh, uh, Dr. Sawyer is teaching, he's been teaching on the gifts of the Spirit. In order for you to operate in the gift of the Spirit, you got to do it by faith. I get up here and preach by faith. Most of the time, I don't even have nothing until the Lord says so. Number five, faith will increase breakthrough in your life. How many of you need a breakthrough? You get that breakthrough by faith. That's right. It is through faith, exercising your faith, practicing your faith. Begin to speak the word. The Bible says, speak the word only. And when you begin to speak the word, it becomes prophetic because it's the word of God. And the Bible says that the Holy Ghost covers and he hastens above the word to perform it. And the angels of God that are your ministers respond to what? The word. So when you have faith to believe that God has assigned angels to you, to protect you, to carry out assignments in your life, you begin to speak the word. Number, number seven, faith will produce righteousness in your life. The Bible says that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, but so many believers live in condemnation. There's no condemnation in those who are in Christ. So your faith is going to, it's going to produce the righteousness of God in your life. This is why God dealt you that measure. Because he said that you cannot live here upon this earth and be successful according to the kingdom of God without operating and exercising your faith. Number eight, faith will release the promises of God. The Bible says that all the promises of God are what? Yes and amen. It means yes and so be it. Over your life. I declare over your life today that the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and out of no sorrow shall be added unto you. You want the blessings of the Lord. Why? Because they make you rich and they add no sorrow. If you have some things and there's some sorrows that came with you, it's not from God. 
I ain't talking about your stuff. I'm talking about your fruit, the real fruit. That's right, the fruit of righteousness. That's right. Come on. Listen to this. It's not until you leave the place of comfortability that God shows up. Abraham had to leave the place of safety and complacency in order to receive the word that God needed to release to him. Some of you all are going to have to leave that place that you are uncomfortable with. Jesus. I know that you're comfortable doing the same thing, Cameron. But God says that he's got something even greater. He said you're going to have to extend your vision even wider. God said that I've spoken some things to you in the past. you laid them down. But God said it's time to pick them up. Because God is going to breathe upon that vision. This is small compared to what God has shown you. Your God said, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have it entered to the heart of man the things that he has prepared for you. And so exactly what God spoke to you, God said, pick it up, ask me to breathe upon it, and then I want you to step out on faith. Because you're going to watch me work. And I pray that the anointing of God, give me your hands, both of them, that the anointing of God, a, a fresh anointing, would flow through your hands from this day forward like never before. And you will play keys that you never even heard. You're going to play notes that you never even heard. And I know that they say, well, it's numbers and it's notes. God said, I'm going to give you a new note. And he said, I'm going to give you a new song. He said, I'm going to speak some new things into you. And you're going to begin to produce. I hear the Lord saying that you're going to begin to produce. You hear me? You're going to begin to produce. And God said, don't worry about the finances. He said, you step out. And he said, write the vision and make it plan. And God said, he's sending some more people to you for you to teach. I heard God say, you're going to teach. You're going to begin to pour out. Because if you don't pour out all that's within you, God cannot pour new into you. And there's some new wine and some fresh wine that God has poured into you. But I heard the Lord say, I need all of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Many of you that are in here, you sing. I hear the Lord saying, I'm about to touch down on your vocal cords. And you're going to sing new songs unto me. It's going to be new. It's going to be fresh. It's never even been heard of. But the melodies have never even been heard of. Those of you, there's some in here that God is going to cause you to play keys. He's going to cause you to be able to play in a way that you've never even known that you can play it. And you're just going to sit down at it and you're going to begin to see it just operate. You're going to begin to see it to just move. If God's going to flow through you, there's going to be an anointing that comes upon you and you're going to feel the anointing. You're going to be drawn You're going to be drawn to it. There's some businesses that are in here that you have only dreamed of it. God said, write it down. This year, there are going to be some of you that start businesses. And you're going to see those businesses prosper in a way that you've never seen anything prosper in your life. And it's not only going to be for you. And the reason that God is going to bless you and do it is because your heart is for the kingdom. Your heart is for the kingdom. That is a requirement of God releasing these things to you. God said, I'm requiring holiness. It's right. Some of you have been asking God for some big things. And it's not all about stuff, y'all. When I'm talking about big things, I'm talking about the things that Matthew 6 and 33 talks about. And God says, as soon as you give me all of you, then I'm going to give you all these things. God's going to release them to you. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. Go ahead and stand to your feet in this place. Hallelujah. Don't just begin to lift up your voices. I need for you to be obedient in this fourth moment.
begin to lift up your voices. Amen.
glory to our pastor will be super happy. Amen. To hear that as a lady. Come on, and just give God some praise in this place. Did you all receive a word in this place? Amen. Amen. Just give God praise. Amen. Go ahead and stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Do we have any other announcements? Any other day? Christmas play? Amen. Just a reminder of anyone that wants to be a part of the Christmas play and you want to show your talents, please meet with Sister